Ah, the life of a political comedian. You know, I work so hard at doing all my impressions. I, I train hard to get the voices of the politicians, the prime ministers down perfectly, and then there's an election, and bang, I gotta start from scratch all over again. <laughs> this, is, this is what happened now when you elected a conservative government in Ottawa. Uh, well, I don't mean you, all of you, just the Vancouver Kingsway people who uh, <laughs> elected a conservative. Uh, that would be David Emerson, uh, the Minister of Shameless Opportunism, I believe is... Uh, <laughs> but he'll be soon forgotten too. Although, you know, you got to work on all of them. I mean, I heard David Emerson just the other week, because he hasn't said very much. I heard him say, yeah, uh, well, you know, uh, the, uh, the media say that the people in my riding, they want me to go and, uh, you know, have a by-election. Uh, but, you know, that's not right. Only 15% of the people in my riding want me to go and have a by-election. 85% of the people in my riding want me to go hunting with Dick Cheney. <laughs> so there you go. That's your, uh, that's your man at the uh, table of power there, David Emerson. Uh, so, you see, what... what all of this is done, of course, is what I'm trying to say, is it's, it's shaken up, you know, it's another challenge for me, because I, after 18 months, I think I had Paul Martin down pretty well, pretty well. And now, what am I going to do with a voice like this? Uh, I, well, I would say, I, I think that, uh, you know, uh, seriously, and I think very, very fundamentally, I think that, uh, you know, I would say that, that what you, uh, look, I, look, I think, uh, you, what was the question? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that's right. Uh, uh, why was why was my government uh, uh, defeated in, uh, in the last election? I would say that uh, I and uh, I uh, uh, look at. I think what happened. I think what happened was it was entirely John Cretchen's fault. Uh, oh yes, because uh, it, when he was the prime minister, he uh, and I never met the man, of course. I uh, I would say I would say it was entirely his fault. Uh, that this whole thing happened. I, uh, you know, I'm so very, very angry at what he's done to me in my political career, so very fundamentally angry. In fact, I, I was on the street in Ottawa just the other day. I saw six men beating the living crap out of Jean Chrétien. My wife turned to me, she said, Paul, are you not gonna help? I said, no, I think six is enough. <laughs> so, Paul Martin, boop, gone. Now I have to work with this new guy. And I know some of you can't really appreciate the, the job that a political mimic has to go through, but believe me, it's, it's serious work ahead of me here. Uh, the new guy, Stephen Harper, although the odd thing about it is we went from Paul Martin to Stephen Harper, and I don't know about you, I've accidentally called the guy Steve Martin, I don't know how many times. <laughs> I think, what am I thinking? But anyway, uh, yeah, so here we are, we have, uh, we're stuck with uh, Stephen Harper. Uh, Chers amis, sit in Grand Plaisir, Tracy, ce soir, on Central Ville de Vancouver, <laughs> Oil de Granville. Uh, many people, uh, when I became the Prime Minister of Canada, many people said, uh, do you have the stomach for this kind of work? Well, <laughs> I'm working on it. Also, many people have said that I'm just a cold man, and I want to know I want you to know tonight that I'm just like any other Canadian man, any other Canadian man. I get up in the morning, I have my breakfast, I shake hands with the wife and kids, and I go to work. <laughs> also, there's been a great deal of criticism about our stand on gay marriage and also the Kyoto Accord on the environment. And I want you to know we've made a compromise that I think is a very good compromise. We are going to allow gays to marry as long as they don't give off harmful emissions. <laughs> I think that's a very good conservative compromise. Also, as the new conservative government in Ottawa, I want all Canadians to know that we are going to protect our Arctic shoreline. That is sovereign to Canada. We're going to send ships up there. And I told this to the President of the United States. He said, you send one ship up there, we'll blow it out of the water. <laughs> I looked him straight in the eye. And I said, yeah, okay. Well, uh, you know, just, I, I did, it was just a suggestion. I wasn't really saying it good, but I just said, you know, I thought, well, it's, it's up for discussion, that's all. It's just a, a thought. So there you go. That's, uh, that's what I have on my plate for the next few years. And the problem is, you see, 
when, you, when you've done all the, the great prime ministers in the last 15, 20 years, uh, you always go back to the greatest of them all, comedy's greatest gift to politics, or politics' greatest gift to comedy, probably more likely, John Cretchen. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I have to say that I, I, I'm very happy uh, to be here tonight, you know, in my favorite province of English Columbia. To, uh, I have never had so many people give me the clap in a long, long time. <laughs> That make me feel good in parts you don't want to hear about. But anyway, I, uh, I, I, I'm very happy to be here at the Waterhouse Theater, to, you know, to, uh, to talk to you, to chew the flesh for a while, you know. I, I, uh, you know, when I was the head poncho in Canada, I was a great prime minister, you know that, everybody know that. I, you know, I, I do a lot of things. I travel the waist and breast of Canada, feeling up Canadian about this, about that, about the other. Mostly the other. I, I was up the stump all over Canada, you know. I go to Alberta to talk to the oily patch guys. I go, to, uh, I go up to none of it. I go to some of it, then all of it. I was. I was. And you know, you can't say there are not many prime ministers who can say this. I was elected to a first term. Then I was elected to a second term, and I finished with a third. Uh. <laughs> Not a lot of prime minister can say they finished with a third, I tell you that. <laughs> but, but, but you know now, they are make all the allegation that I was the guy responsible for a sponsorship scandal. Well, not only do I deny the allegation, I deny the alligator who made that allegation in the first place. <laughs> and I know who the alligator was, it was, Stephen Harpoon, that was the guy. Yeah, yeah, he was with the appliance party, you know, and uh, then he joined the preservatives. Uh, that, 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 that was the guy, you know. He always say that I was playing Parmesan politics all the time, you know. Oh, that really cheesed me up when I hear that. You know? Make up my mind depending on which way the wind breaks, you know. Nah. <laughs> Don't listen to Stephen Argoon. The guy's trying to pull the legs over your eyes. That's all he do. <laughs> and then, you know, they make me go to the inquiry. Well, when they say that, you know, I just about have a nervous break dance that time. But I, 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 I have to sit in front of the judge, Gamaria, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this guy would finger me for this, finger me for that, it would finger me all day, and, uh, you know, trying to pin the tail on my donkey. Well, I tell you, that's when I took out my balls, you know? Everybody remembers that scene, John Gracian's golf balls. They were pretty uh, impressive, but uh, I, I have to say, you know, it's, it's too bad they do that, because uh, I think I can say tonight, you know, that uh, when I leave 24 Success Drive, you know, <laughs> that I, I, it was a big relief for me, you know, to the big monkey off my uncle's barrel. That's what it was. <laughs> but in contusion, I can say tonight, without any fear of contraception, that uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I was a great prime minister. But uh, now that Jean Chrétien is out of politics, you will really see him spread his legs and fly. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. <laughs>